I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it, I'm moving it. The city is where I'm made, Bostonian flow. I kick it a back day, yeah, I got game. Got in a fan way, we the city of the champs. Every sport we play, it's been wetter than the harbor, yeah. I'm flowing like the Charles. I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles. Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock, and I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock. I be doing big things, don't even have a deal, yeah. I battle through these. Welcome back everyone to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis and I gotta tell you, I'm excited about today's message. When this one came to me earlier, I knew that it can and that it will help a lot of people because it truly has so much power behind it. So I need you to take this one in and I really want you to use it. I'm actually challenging you to use this. Try it for one week and see how your life changes, okay? Because I've truly started to see more and more that so many people so many people live in a constant state of survival. So many people are always on edge. They're stressing. They're worrying. Focusing on all the problems of life. And it destroys their well-being. But it always welcomes more of the same in. And that's what today's message is meant to shift. To go from the state of survival to a state of flow. We all at some point or other move into a state of survival when we feel our well-being is being affected. And truthfully, that's written into our DNA. The cavemen lived like this and history took its course to where we are now. But when we focus on the anxiety and the stressors or the problems so much, what so many people can fall into, we feel we are constantly in this state of survival. Our brains feel it. And you probably start to see it because your mind is always racing. You're tired because of that. You're always on edge, it seems. But here's the factor. We all face stressors in life. If we let these stressors vie for too much of our focus, though, biologically, it causes our hearts to speed up. It causes our minds to race. Our adrenaline begins to pump. We start to use energy in ways we probably don't even need to. It's fight or flight, and it's survival mode. See, as much as time advances and technology advances, if we don't actively pursue our own growth in every area, we keep ourselves in the same state, truthfully, as the cavemen. Cavemen would live in survival mode because they needed to, always on edge, because if they weren't, they'd die, <laughs> all right? How different is that than someone in today's age living their life and letting their anxiety and stress get the best of them on a daily basis? Living on the edge. Your brain doesn't know the situation that you're in. It just feels your stress and your tension that you're sending it. So it sends the message throughout your entire body. On a scientific level, it constantly sends chemicals through your brain, which creates the pattern of it happening again and again the more you let it happen, all right? But when you're living in this state, you aren't living in the flow that you're meant to live in in life. Now, to switch it up, have you ever noticed that there are moments when life just seems to fall into place? When life is feeling good and good things end up happening to you? There's a peace to life that brings an effortless aspect Things just flow to you. If you haven't experienced this part of life, then it's time you made the choice to let this very real part come into play. When we let the stresses of life begin to take over, they take away from us being able to experience life on a much, much better level. A level that I feel we're meant to be living on all along. Because who said life is supposed to be difficult? Right? Society portrays it to us, but if you actually do your digging and open your mind up, you start to learn and see, truthfully, that it was never meant to be that way. <laughs> the oldest books in history point to this, and it's as if somewhere along the line, they stopped teaching it to us. Life won't be without problems. That's true. But it's as if so many people feel life is without its answers. 
I believe it's time to pick up that understanding once again. And what comes from that switch is a better understanding of yourself. And when that happens, oh my goodness, life begins to unfold. Effortless work brings you further in so many different ways. And I'm assuming when you take that in, it just sounds weird to hear. But it's how we're meant to be living from day one. And if you take a look at your day, how often do so many things vie for control of your focus and your mind? So I want to teach you something here that I hope rearranges how you see things this coming week. It's deep, but it connects the mind, the body, and the spirit in such a great way. Which, coming back to what we said earlier, I think we were always supposed to understand this entire concept from day one. When we are focused on the problems and we're focused on the stressors that just seem to pop up in everyday life, we in actuality are welcoming more of the same to come in when that's all we see. We bring tension into our lives because we can't break our focus or we choose not to shift our focus. And when we do this, we're actually cutting ourselves off from this flow that I keep mentioning throughout this video where good things come to us and we don't even have to try. Where that peace that we all search for comes into our lives. Where life truly does feel effortless because you have a sense of joy to you. I try and think back. I know there's always been people throughout life where you're like, man, how does that stuff keep happening? Then all this good stuff comes to them. Were they in the flow maybe? But how this all connects the mind, the body, and spirit is when your mind focuses on all of this, you put out a message spiritually to God, to the universe, that that's what you want more of. If, you want, if you're focused on anxiety, you welcome more of it in. And how the body comes into play is that, for one, if your body is healthy, your mind is healthy. It welcomes in more goodness and positivity into your life. And when you're in a state of flow, your body receives that message in all honesty, brings that goodness to all areas of your body, creating healing. And when you're in a state of survival for too long, all that stress and that anxiety and those problems, you're sending a message throughout your body. And when it feels it for too long, it starts to get sick and break down. It's incredible, but it all starts in the mind. That's why the mind is so powerful. But when you align the three of them together, the mind, the body, and the spirit, you step into this flow that we're meant to live in. Have you ever noticed that there's so much information out there in the world on how to stay positive in tough times or how to shift your focus around? The Bible even tells us to keep our eyes on him and not our circumstances, to focus on things above and not below, aka everything we see throughout the world. All this information is trying to point to this one message of how to live a life in this flow. But if we continue to focus on the stressors and the anxiety and the problems of life, we cut ourselves off from that flow. We cut ourselves off from that alignment. And in all honesty, and truthfully, it makes things that much more difficult for every single one of us. That survival mode that I mentioned earlier with the cavemen, they need to live that way. But why don't we continue to choose to live that way with all the advancements and information that we have out there? There's so many answers and yet every single one of us tends to times focus on all the problems. When we live in this survival mode, constantly on edge and worrying, we cut ourselves off and don't see the good things that are all around us now. Or the doors that are trying to open for us that we either keep praying on, we keep focusing on, we're trying to manifest into our life and we keep missing them because we're focusing on what we shouldn't be focusing on. We can't live in a constant fight or flight or stress anymore. The more you begin to see this and learn about it, you start to see how many walls you erect in your own life to stop you from getting what is yours. All right, knock them down. The second you get in this flow, this alignment and step out of that survival mindset, you start to see how good life can be and how it was meant to be all along. The survival mindset can come in handy. It really can. But it isn't meant to be our one way of living, not anymore. It's there for increments, not the entire life. But this flow, you got to step into it.
Life is too strict to only focus on what's wrong and not even consider the possibility of what is right and can go right. And too many people today only focus on what's wrong and question why they get more of it. Switch it up starting today. For one week, that's all I ask. Get in this flow. See how good you feel giving time for yourself away from the problem mindset and the stress for one week. Challenge yourself to do this. Set aside time each day and switch it up. If problems come up, watch as the answers come to you quicker to solve them and then step back into that flow. And eventually, it becomes effortless and long lasting. I'm telling you, that's how we were meant to live. I have no doubt about that. <laughs> But give it a try and step away from the survival mindset. If you need pointers on any of this or ideas to how it can work specifically for you, reach out, comment below, find it on social media, and let's talk about it. But please, I ask you, try it, and it's going to be incredible for you. But I thank you for tuning in. Like this message below, hit that thumbs up button, share this message to someone who needs to break this mindset and start enjoying life on a different level and subscribe for more videos every single Sunday. And like I said before, if you or anyone you know is in need of a life coach or someone to help you make this shift we talked about today, go to billygeelifecoaching.com and you can set up a free consultation with me and I'll be right there for you. But give it a try. <laughs> Until next week, guys. I've been around and doing it, but now it's my time to shine and start proving it. I'm losing it.